Hi, I want to talk to you about an overview of redox reactions. Okay, redox stands for reduction oxidation. These are a specific type of chemical reaction. What happens in these chemical reactions, it is actually super, super cool. Electrons move, electrons transfer. Um, so in a redox reaction, one species, one atom is going to gain electrons and one species, one atom is going to lose electrons. So picture this, you have reactants, you have products. So reactants, bonds are going to break, atoms rearrange, new bonds are formed, you form new products. That's what happens in all chemical reactions. Well, in redox reactions, not only do the atoms rearrange from reactants to products, but electrons also transfer, where something's going to lose electrons, something's going to gain electrons. And here is the awesome thing about this. When electrons move, that is current. So for like vernacular everyday English, it means they produce electricity. That is awesome. So we can take this chemical energy of bonds breaking, bonds formed, electrons move is transferred into a electrical energy. Wow, we can get electricity from chemical reactions. That is amazing. Electrons moving, that creates a current, which is code for electricity. My husband's an electrical engineer and he hates when I say that. He's like, use the word current. So I use the word current, but for everybody that doesn't understand that word, electricity makes sense. Um, so awesome. Redox reactions, electrons move, which creates current. All right, now something really special, when we balance redox reactions, we actually balance two things. Not only do we balance atoms, where you use the coefficients to make sure you have the same amount, amount of atoms on the reactant side as the amount of, um, of atoms on the product side, but you also have to balance the electrons. The total electrons lost has to equal the total electrons gained. Um, so you balance two things, and you'll see that in several videos. So we're going to balance electrons and the atoms. Now some examples, we have this all over in our life, Ex powerful examples of redox. Combustion of hydrocarbons, there's all of our energy. Um, we're combusting coal, gas, um, gasoline in our cars, natural gas to run your washing machine or your dishwasher, um, your dryer, that combustion, anytime you're burning a hydrocarbon, it's also a redox reaction. Electrons are moving. Um, another huge one, really important for you and I, metabolism of sugar, fats, and proteins. Those are also redox reactions where not only do atoms rearrange, but electrons move, electrons transfer. Um, so some nomenclature, and this is what I tell my students. Everything I teach you about naming for redox will feel different, it'll feel opposite. I joke with my students, if you wear a hat with the bill in the front, turn it backwards because everything will seem opposite and anti-intuitive. You'll, you'll be like, why did they name it like that? I will explain it as we do the videos, but for now, just give me a ton of grace. Everything that you think is holy and good, you're like, oh, I would name it this. Pick the opposite of that and you'll be correct. Everything is backwards in redox. Okay, so nomenclature, you ready for it? The word reduction actually means gain electrons. I know, I know. I'll, I'll teach you why they named it this way later. Stupid, it's stupid, but I'll teach you why and you'll be able to understand it. Um, oxidation means that we lose electrons. Now, because these are so anti-intuitive, I have a little saying for you. Can't take credit for this, somebody else made it up, um, but a lot of chemistry teachers use this. Leo the lion says grr. Leo, L-E-O stands for lose electrons oxidation. I kid you not, you're going to be on a test and you're going to say lose electrons oxidation. You will be quoting this in your head. GER stands for G-E-R, gain electrons reduction. You'll be counting electrons, okay, okay, this is gaining electrons, gain electrons reduction, GER. Um, so that will help you remember it. Over here, again, you know, whatever you think is right and holy, Pick the opposite answer and you're correct. The oxidizing agent is a species that's reduced. And the reducing agent is a species that's oxidized. And I will show you this in examples. So in a nutshell, there you have redox. Um, the best way to understand all of this crazy nomenclature, watch the video on labeling redox reactions. And it will make sense. These, it almost seems arbitrary, backward, um, backward, names. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it so that it can make sense. So under the play, playlist redox, watch labeling redox reactions. Okay.
Good work. Thank you.